Hello, be better. Hello, be better. My God, it's a calorie burner. Happy holidays. What's up, Takeover Gang? It's your girl, Maya. And it's your boy, Daniel here. And we are back with another MD Takeover video. Yes, but before we get into this video, make sure you stop what you're doing. Like this video, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to our channel. We welcome you guys to the Takeover Gang. We have new content for y'all every Tuesday and every Thursday. And we are still in the midst of our holiday special series. So you all don't want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe. So... Today, we are, by the time y'all get this video, it'll be Christmas Eve. So we're gonna give you, if you need a little last minute idea on a protein or you know how to cook your turkey or whatever, I'm gonna be showing you all why a little chicken or whatever you wanna do for Christmas. Cause you know, Christmas still looks different now. I'm gonna be showing you all one of my recipes on how to cook Cornish hens. Cornish hens are a great option for something to do if you know you got a little, little small gathering, you don't wanna do a whole turkey or you know, sometimes the turkey's just a lot. So come, 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 come on. We're gonna show y'all how to how to do this. All right, y'all, come on. Step into our kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Cause you your cousins this. too, because you know your cousins don't know how to cook. Yeah, I brought that, that wrong dish to Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby, come on. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all, we'll see y'all in this clip. All right, y'all, so we're back. The first thing I wanna show y'all, I went ahead and did it because it needs, to, it needs a little time to get this stuff together. So I have my hens here. I have two of them, they've been marinating. So with your hens, the longer you let them marinate, in my opinion, the better. So um, you can let them marinate for 12 to 24 hours if you have time. I didn't have that time. So mine have been marinating for about four hours. So it's just some water in here. I have some black pepper and I have a little salt. And then I have my thyme. I have some sage and some rosemary along with some lemons. And I would say oranges, but I didn't have it. So I used a little, a little satsum. That's what I had. Anyway, so I let that brine and uh, I brought it out to get it to room temperature, but I let it marinate in the fridge. The first thing I'm gonna show y'all is something that I love to do, y'all. I just, y'all know I love to cook with wine. I'm gonna have to hold me a glass too. But I make a Chardonnay garlic butter that I like to toss my potatoes in to make it cook. So I'm gonna show y'all that. I got my pan, I'm gonna let my pan uh, heat up. Child, don't mind the oil to the back of the stove. This is a black household. We had, a, we, had a, we had a little fish fry. So I'm just gonna put a little oil in there and then I'm gonna melt my butter into this oil. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna let it do. Okay. So while this is melting, I'm gonna step over here and start cutting these to potatoes. So baby, we gonna multitask. I'm just gonna take these potatoes and I just do little bite-sized pieces. I cut it in half and then cut it into quarters. And then I just slice them up from there. I mean, you don't want to have your potatoes too large, so I may have to cut these into threes. Always eat them. I'm gonna cut this into threes so they can cook faster. All right, y'all, so that's how I cut my potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these potatoes and we are gonna be back, all right? All right, you guys, so I got a pan full of potatoes. This is gonna be like a little one pan uh, meat potatoes type thing and then you just, you just do whatever vegetable you wanna do. So while that butter was melting, uh, I got this going on. So I got all my potatoes nice and chopped. You just wanna do them in even bite-sized pieces, baby. If they ain't even, that's your business, all right? So uh, we're gonna step over to this garlic butter. So my, my stick of butter is almost melted. So to this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab me a little spoon and I'm gonna grab me a, um, another spoon, big spoon of spoon. So when it's just about melted, I'm gonna take and do a nice heavy scoop of, of garlic, heavy spoon of garlic. 
If you really want to be fancy and bougie, what you can do is you can take you a whole head of garlic and then roast it in the oven and then squeeze it and you have your little garlic paste and just let that melt down in the flavor. I don't got time for that, okay? So, um, just my business. Just my business, okay? So, that's just a little, little minced garlic. We got that. Just gonna let that cook down for a moment. For the moment. Let it have its special time. Yes. Yes. Now, what's really gonna set this off is this Chardonnay. Yes, Lord. So, what I do is once this, I let that cook about a minute or so. After that cooks, I put me a little Chardonnay in there. Don't ask me how much, baby. Just pour into it. Just pour. Mm -hmm. Just pour. And then what I do is I let uh, I let it cook a little bit. You know, just let the alcohol cook off of it. You ain't trying to get nobody drunk. You just want the flavor. Okay? Um, and then I just let it reduce down and I pour this over my potatoes. And it's just gonna be so nice and so succulent and so just mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The only other thing I add besides that, I'll add like a little squeeze of lemon uh, and just let that be that. And I get my life that way, okay? All right, so this does, this look nice. This thing's been going for a little minute, so I'm just gonna take, add me a little Chardonnay to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. And baby, we don't have lemon juice. Maya used the rest of it. Oh, it's fragrant, I smell it. Maya used the last bit of the lemon juice, so we gonna add a little lime juice if I can get it open. Here we go. That's it. Just a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right. All right. I'm just going to let that cook down a little tad. Reduce the heat on it. Hell, it can brown if it won't be. Just a tad. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get these here. here. Ooh. Lord have mercy, I wasn't ready. That's okay, cause I'm ready now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these little hens. It just smells, it smells good, just the, just the little water. Just, so I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna grab these hens out of here. I'm gonna make sure you get all that, all that water out. We don't need that. I'm just gonna sit them in here, let them drain even more. Just very quickly, but don't don't discard this because we're gonna make use of the stuff that's in there. We don't want to waste that goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I'm gonna do what's called a, 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 a spatchcock on these to get you some good kitchen shit. Now I'm letting y'all know now. I, mean, I did this with a turkey, that's why I'm doing here. Because I did this with a turkey and my little kitchen shears was broke. I had to get some of these cups in the Dollar Tree. Dollar General, not mm -hmm. Dollar Tree. Speaking of Dollar Tree, it's not a Dollar Twenty Five tree because they done brought their prices up. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> so I grab the hand like this by the back, and you just take and you just cut the you cut the backbone out. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of that snap, crackle, pop. It's just mm -hmm. mm. what you got going on. We gonna cut that out. It don't look like it's of God. Uh huh. Cut this side out. Now you got the little hen back out. After that, you wanna just take it and turn it over and give it a little firm press. You hear a pop. That's that cartilage in the in the breastbone that you're breaking. All that's all this does is um, it, it allows your hen to get an even cook because everything is flat. Versus if I was to put the hen on my turkey in the oven like this, then you got your breast meat that's just exposed and it cooks fast. And we don't want no dry meat. I want no 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 dry white meat especially. So I'm gonna take this and put this on a little drying rack. Let that skin dry a little bit. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna let y'all know too. If y'all uh if you like to make a nice little homemade stock like I do, you take these here hen backs or your turkey back, your chicken back, 
your duck back, whatever you got, whatever you're doing. You put that down in some water with some vegetables and a little seasoning and you got you a nice stock. Stop spending y'all money on stuff you don't have to, okay? Maybe that's it. Now let's go check on this here butter, cause oof. Let me wash my hands now first. Mm -hmm. That's the reduction nicely. Yes, I said reduction. I halfway wanted to reduce just a little bit more. Let that sit for just another little minute or two. Alright. Alright, y'all. So we got the, this nice garlic butter. Uh be careful with it because it's still hot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour it. Pour it all over my potatoes. Pour it all over my potatoes. Get that good garlic. Let me get my spoon. And I want all of this. I want all of that. Now I will say it will be a lot better if you were to um, roast the garlic and do it that way, but maybe. I ain't got time for that. Not today at least. Um, you may not want to touch it yet because it is still a little warm. You know, you won't burn yourself. And then from here, we're gonna season it. Season these here potatoes, cause baby, we season at every step. Except for the garlic butter. I didn't season the garlic butter, cause sometimes you can overdo it. You don't know what you're doing. All right. So first, you want to start with a little the crab boil. Mm -hmm. Do you a nice little. Yes. Oh, thank you. A little salt, a little sea salt. Mm. It's a little heavy on the salt. Nice. A little pepper, a little black pepper. You know, oh, I want a lot of black pepper. Sounds a little hard to do. It, it was. Got a little granulated garlic powder because you can't never have too much garlic. Garlic powder, garlic powder. And then uh, uh, some onion powder. What else can I put on here? I got me a little poultry seasoning too. Add me just a little bit of that because I'm putting some fresh herbs in there too. Just a little dash of cayenne. Okay, a couple dashes of cayenne. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have this this here poultry blend. I'm using it on the actual hands too, but I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit in here. Um, Poultry so this is, you have your thyme, you have your rosemary, and you have a little sage, a little sage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some. I generally don't have fresh sage leaves, so this is gonna be an experience for me. I'm gonna put the, the sage in there. I only got one little thing of rosemary, so I'm gonna save that for the, I'm gonna save that for the extra hand. And where's my stove? Time, you just gonna take this and you gonna usually I would do this with my hands, but uh, well, no, that garlic butter ought to be done cold. Anybody got time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm so. Because we're doing this all in one pan, I go ahead and put my potatoes in the oven while I season my hands because the potatoes are generally gonna take a little bit longer than your hands. And the good thing about it is, we're gonna put the hands right on top and then all the little drippings from it just gonna go on the potatoes and it's gonna be right nice and right good. My, I love these potatoes, don't you see? Mm -hmm. They just be so, I don't even know the words to describe it. Yeah, these potatoes look good already. All right, but you wanna make sure you get them flat. You don't want potato on top of potato because this ain't that kind of party. So we're gonna put this in the oven. I have my oven preset to uh, 350. I was gonna put it in there for about 30 minutes. We gonna, we gonna play by ear. Okay, so you gotta put the hands on that stuff. So about 30 minutes. I gotta turn the oven light on. Child, for some reason, my food don't come out right if the oven light not on. The oven light got it when you bake. 
something to turn your other light on. Because if you don't bake with your other light on, that's a red flag. It's a red flag. It is. It is. It's a red flag. So now I got my hands here. See, they look all nice. If you if they're still a little damp, what you can do is you can take and you can pack them dry with a paper towel, um, which I, I'm gonna do. But then we're gonna go ahead and get these seasoned up, so we can put these on top of those potatoes, and that's gonna be our shiro. That's it. All right. We we'll back in a minute. All right, y'all. So we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these here hands over. They still, they still got a little moisture in them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a paper towel and I'll be right back and I'll show you what to do. So um, go on and dab this. And you can see too, you can see the little specks of pepper that uh, were brined with them. That's how you know you had enough in there. You had to do the brine. So go ahead and dab that real nice and get all that excess moisture out. Now, because because I did brine these in salt and pepper, I'm only gonna put just a, a light, like very light coating of, of uh, salt and pepper, uh, especially the salt, because I don't want it to be too salty. Because we don't got time for high blood pressure and all of that there. It's real, yeah, just real light. Yes. Oh, I meant to put some oil on this. Oops. Y'all don't be like me, put you some oil on there first. I forgot. Don't hold it to my head. Charge it to. What? Uh, Charge it to your head, not your heart. That one. That one. What she said. What her said. Put a little too much oil on this one. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> it's gonna be good regardless. Get you a. Get you a little. These what I call my auxiliary seasonings. That is, I mean, this is garlic, garlic. powder. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's garlic powder because we don't use most of it. We like garlic powder in this house. Yeah, we, we just like good. garlic, period. So the onion powder. I'm, I'm just seasoning with the same stuff that I seasoned the uh, potatoes. The potatoes with a little Tony Satcher. Yeah. Oh. All right, Tony, don't do me like that. If I want to be real bougie, I could inject these, baby. It's a weeknight. Anybody got time for that? This the poultry seasoning. I like that poultry seasoning. And then we're going to, oof, oof, that was the big was side. The <laughs> a little, a little cayenne pepper. And this is me. If y'all don't like all of this seasoning on y'all, y'all don't have to, but I might not eat it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take and put some um, some fresh thyme and a little fresh rosemary. I'm gonna say and put the most most of it on the front side. Take a look nice and pretty. But you know, this the this the side where you got that, you say, you say, that exposure. Mm -hmm. so you wanna get that good in there, and then just massage it a good little bit. Put more on that side than that side. More what? More what? Herbs. Herbs. Did I try to fail? I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. It's gonna be all right. You know what? It's gonna be all right. Okay. Because look, it's gonna taste good. I'm gonna flip them over. Uh, I'm gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do. Calorie butter, calorie butter. My God, it's a calorie butter. <laughs> you ain't see that video? No. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now I'm gonna take and lift this here uh, skin up. Try not to rip the skin, but just gently try to get your fingers up under there. And if your skin is too wet, you can always uh, dampen it with the. Um, Let's take the moisture out with a paper towel like we did on the back. Mine is, mine is okay. Uh, ooh, so I can see bit. Daniel is good with his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anyway, get uh get all up in there too. Dark meat. You don't discriminate. Well, I do because I like white meat. Anyway, <clears throat> so this side is a little, a little tough. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Get up in Yes. Yes. And the reason why I'm doing all this is because I want this skin to be nice and crispy. I love a good crispy piece of skin. Ooh, yes, fella, itch it. Itch that scratch. Yes, girl, you got it? Okay, fella was over there itching, y'all. Mm. So, I got me a couple pieces of butter here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this butter and I'm just gonna put the... I don't know this butter, make it taste better. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take this here butter and I'm gonna put it up underneath this here skin. And what that's gonna do is when it melt, it's gonna... It's gonna uh, crispify that skin like how it need to be. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be right delicious. It's gonna... It's gonna be all right, it's gonna melt. I gotta go back under there anyway because I gotta put some seasoning. So yes, you just put you some of that in there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good, I promise you, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a little surgeon. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I be watching Grace. I'm a, I'm a surgeon, I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, poultry surgeon. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's that new branch. Mm -hmm. um, Grey's Anatomy. I'm gonna be on there soon. I'm gonna be on season uh, 21 if they make it. That's what my contract said. Mm. Depending. All right. So let me wash my hands again. And I'm gonna season it. All right. We're going in with the same thing. With the same things. The same things. We got to massage it all in there. Mm, girl, my butter coming out, Lord. Mm. Jesus. I think this was on the side. Mm -mm, they got their butter still in there. Get you some seasoning up under the skin too. Don't leave, don't leave that, that meat without seasoning. We need everything to be to have some seasoning on it. I might have to put a little more seasoning the way it's looking, child, because it don't it just don't look like it well seasoned enough for me. I'll try this one here. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a a little rough massage you want to do with it, because you want to make sure it's all. Oh, look at me. Yeah, baby, I'm gonna need a little more seasoning. Hold on, y'all. Stay to me. Mm -hmm. You just wanna make sure it's all nice and all. Ooh. <sighs> Try to, the thought and just came unhinged. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe a little rough with your massage. I wasn't that rough. I might have been, but shush. Oh, y'all, so this is what we gonna do. <clears throat> I have my potatoes. I took my potatoes out of the oven. They've been in the oven for about. 15 minutes. So the reason why I say not to discard this is because what I do is I take these. You want to at least get you one, one of each. Mm -hmm, put that there. And then put you some, some herbals. Yes, some of, some of them herbals. Put that there. Mm -hmm. And get me another one of these. Put that there. And if you leave in your Cornish hens hole, and you gonna stuff this on the inside, okay? That's what you gonna do. Got my little rosemary. I gotta get the rest of my rosemary over here. Got my little rosemary. And so I'm gonna stick the hands on top of here. Let me go get my hands back. And you just take your hands and you just put them over top of yonder, okay? You put that one over top of yonder. I had a little butter that fell, so I'm gonna get my butter. Alright y'all, we got these hens on there <clears throat> looking real nice and good. So remember that's the potatoes at the bottom. The potatoes have been in the oven and now I have um, my lemon and my little orange peel and my herbs underneath the bottom. I'm gonna take some pollen and I'm gonna cover them. And I cook my hens most of the way with foil. And then I take like the last, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. And uh, I let them cook uncovered. But I, just, I don't want to, I don't want to dry here and you know, dry turkey. Because if you're serving dry turkey on Christmas, baby, you're going to get talked about. And I don't want y'all to get talked about, at least in a bad way. If you're going to get talked about, I want it to be good. So in total, it's going to be about um, an hour, but your hens or your turkey or whatever might be different. You know, especially if you're doing a turkey versus the hen. If you're doing turkey, it's going to take a couple hours. So you always want to temp it and make sure that it temps out at 165 or really like 160 and let it come up to 165 once it comes out. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna set my timer.
for an hour, and we're gonna check back on it. That's all she wrote. All right, y'all, so it's the last 15 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and take the foil off and let it cook the rest of the way without the foil. So that's what it looks like right now. We got 15 more minutes to go. We'll check in when it's done. All right, y'all, you just want to make sure <clears throat> that you uh, you test your potatoes and make sure they're done, make sure they're fork tender, which they are. And then you want to make sure, which I already did, you want to make sure that you test your um, your hen and make sure that your hen temps at 165, 160, and let it come up to 165 once it's done. Mm -hmm, y'all see that? That look right about nice. We're going to let it rest. About 15 minutes, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna taste it for y'all, okay? All right, y'all. So, brother did his thing in the kitchen, finally finished the hen and everything like that. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and taste it for y'all to let y'all know how it came out. Yes. Oh, there, the we, velocity of the magnitude of the hen and the potatoes. We showed, like, them, we showed them what it looked like. Yeah, I showed them. Okay. Y'all get into that. Look how juicy. Yes. Oh, oh the, the potato. Okay. You want to try the potato first, or you want to try the... Okay, we're going to try the potato first. Got a nice little potato piece. Mm -hmm. That's with that shot and that garlic butter. Mm. Ready? Yes. Oh, let's pray. You want to pray? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord God, let it be a nourishment to our bodies, but say as it prepared, the mouth should be in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. Amen. Yes. That's good. Give it a little bit of that juice. Y'all, yes, look at that. Look at the wonderfulness. All right, let's go in. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. That herb, you get the herbal maddox, the, the herbals. Y'all, because mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Look, we love y'all. Before you go, make sure you like this video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. Not ending the video. Because I got to fix me a plate. Me too. <laughs> I got to fix me a plate. So we're going to go ahead and log off so we can fix our plates. We wish y'all a very Merry Christmas. Right? Time y'all get this. It'll be. I got my eye. Ooh. Yeah, I had to clean mine out. Ciao. But we wish y'all a very Merry Christmas. By the time you get this video, it will be Christmas Eve. Yes. So have a great time with your family. We'll be having a great time with ours. And we will see y'all next week for another MD Takeover video. Bye. Yes.